Today we're going to take a look at Paul Thibault Gallery in San Francisco. Paul Thibault Gallery was founded by the son of one of San Francisco's most important visual artists, Wayne Thibault. And he started this exhibition series titled 25 Treasures, which is what we're looking at now, the 14th edition. And the concept is to take 25 different works of art and objects by different artists, something that is more likely to be seen in a private collection rather than a curated gallery show. This is one of my favorite works of art in the show. It's a 33 part drawing watercolor on paper of Mount Pam. And every single day the artist would, would paint a different part of the landscape and then he would put that painting away and not look at it again. And then in the end, when he had the various components of the landscape, he put it all together. This one in the middle, it rained that day, so the watercolors got washed out. But it's really interesting to see how sometimes his memory of what he had painted lined up perfectly, and sometimes it would be off. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. This is a Peruvian sculpture from the Chan K culture, estimated to be made between 800 and 1200 CE. It's a ceramic with white, red, and brown pigments. And then we have a beautiful painting in acrylic on canvas by Arthur Akumara, a Japanese American artist. And this painting was inspired by Japanese rock gardens. And then we have a fantastic glazed ceramic and concrete sculpture by Robert Arneson titled Raft of the Quack Quack. Robert Arneson was one of the founding um, creators of the Bay Area funk art movement. And then we're gonna go upstairs. As you can see, the exhibition continues. And the gallery is in a really beautiful space. I believe it used to be a house.
And then we end the exhibition with a wonderful little oil on canvas by Wayne Thiebaud, a study of a slice of pie from 1961. And that's all folks. Thank you so much for sticking it out until the end. Let me know what your favorite piece was in the show. I'm not really sure if mine was the Roy de Forest or the one in the beginning with the 33 watercolors. And feel free to subscribe. I think it's up here. And check out the next video.